Hey, Jody here. I'm at Georgia Trade School today. We're working on a student video. This is Instructor Kyle. Hey, guys. This is a part two video. The first video was a 6010 open route. It's a practice plate test in preparation for being able to do 2G pipe open route because the same settings and the same techniques work on plate as they do on pipe. So now part two is 7018 fill and cap. I'm going to be running mostly a stringer right over top of this, but I'm going to put just a little bit of oscillation in there. Not, not a full-blown weave pass or anything like that. Just a little bit of oscillation to make sure I really cover those toes on both sides. So since we're done with our 6010s, we've just swapped it over to our 7018 setting here. Um, and I'm going to put the arc force on soft rather than stiff. That's just my personal preference with these 7018 electrodes. I find that it uh, helps that weld lay down in there a little better. So what I'm going to be doing here, like I just described, is just putting a little bit of oscillation on my electrode here. Not a full weave. Just going a little bit toe-to-toe, -to -toe, making sure it all gets covered up. All lays in there and ties in how I want it. Trying to maintain a nice tight arc length so I don't get any undercut down in there. That's what we're looking for. So this right here is our weld crater, and at the center of this weld crater, that's where our electrode was when we stopped welding. So our goal here is to come back into this crater as close to the center as possible we can get, and we want to let that crater just refill. We don't want to gobber up the metal on there, we just want that crater to refill, and then we can resume our welding the rest of the way through here. So I'm gonna light up just ahead, of where I'm going to be and kind of use my arc as a light, come back into the crater, let it refill, and get going. All right, so we'll chip this slag off here, same as before. See what we got. Ready? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so now that we finished our hot pass, we're gonna go ahead and start filling this thing up with a, a series of layers of stringers. So for our first pass here on our second layer, we're gonna be aiming kind of at the toe, the bottom toe of our hot pass. And our goal here is to partially cover up our hot pass. And we also wanna partially work our way down onto this bottom bevel. So now that we've completed that pass right there, we're going to come right above that weld we just put in there and we're shooting for this little crease right here. I'm going to have a little bit more of an upward angle on this, that way I can make sure I'm getting some weld material applied to that top. 
but I really want these two welds to overlap each other at least about 30-40%. What we're going to try to show you here is kind of a progression with a little bit exposed of each layer. That way you guys can kind of get a feel for how each layer should be laying into that groove. So I'm going to go ahead and cap it from this point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my rod where it's just ever so slightly above that bottom edge. And I'm going to make sure I'm giving it enough time on this first pass to where that weld's coming down and covering up this bottom edge and tying into it entirely. Yes, sir. Zoom out just in case. <laughs> <laughs> So on our last pass of our cap here, we want to make sure we come in here and cover up our top edge. We also want it to overlap on our previous weld here. Make sure we get uh, those two welds tied in together. And I like to hold a nice tight arc when I do this top pass here to help prevent any possibility of undercut. As you guys probably know, welding horizontal, it likes to, to undercut on that top edge there. If you hold a tight arc, it, it helps to prevent some of that from happening. From There you have it, 330 seconds, 7018, fill in cap, kind of stacked in there, not finished out, just so you can see how the beads are staggered and laid in there. This absolutely could have been done with 1 8 7018. We just chose to go with 332, maybe leaving room for another video on another day using 1 8 rod.